Let's doodle a daisy from the Daisy and Sunflower Challenge card. For this project, you'll need our Daisy and Sunflower Challenge card, 12 strands of filament, a 3D pen, and a doodle pad. We begin to make the daisy by doodling the flat centerpiece, part A1, featured on the back of the stencil. We are using black filament for our centerpiece. Once it's cool, pop it off the doodle pad and set it aside. We'll use it again later. Next we move on to the petals. You'll need to doodle 21 petals, marked as B1 on the stencil. We're using yellow filament and a doodle pad for this challenge to give us more surface area to doodle each petal. Our technique is to start by tracing the outline of the petal and then take our 3D pen and fill in the outline starting at the bottom and working our way to the top. Once all 21 petals have cooled, you can peel them off the doodle pad and set them aside. Here's a tip for shaping your petals. Take your 3D pen and the same color you used for the petals and add a thin line of plastic down the center of the petal. And then, while the filament is still warm, take your finger and slightly bend the piece to form more of a curved half-moon petal shape. Once your petals are shaped, it's time to attach them to the black centerpiece you doodled earlier. Apply a dab of plastic to the center piece, and then place the small tip of the petal to the center. Work your way around the center until you've placed 10 petals or so. You'll want to leave a bit of space in between the petals. After the first layer of petals have been placed, it's time to place the second layer of 11 remaining petals. Stagger each petal on top of the bottom layer, working your way around the center until you've attached all 21 petals. Add additional plastic where needed for extra support. Next, switch back to the color you used for the center and add additional texture to it so that it looks like the center of a daisy or sunflower. Now let's switch to a third color to doodle the stem pieces. We chose green. Go back to your stencil and doodle the sepal, parts C and D. Make sure you let your doodle cool before removing it from the doodle pad. If the plastic is still warm, it may be tougher to come off, which is what happened here. Flip the flower over so that you are looking at the underneath side, and attach part C first, followed by part D. Lastly, using the same, doodle the stem and securely attach it to the back of the flower, and your flower is now complete. Thanks for watching our Daisy and Sunflower Maker Challenge tutorial. Be sure to share your creation with us and check out our other tutorials on our YouTube channel.